Hi there, I'm Nikki Klarman, one of the public outreach archaeologists for the Kansas Historical Society. Today we're going to learn about the Santa Fe Trail by looking at how the trail affected the landscape of Kansas through trail ruts. Trail ruts are evidence of wagons following the route of the Santa Fe Trail across the Kansas Prairie. The Santa Fe Trail in Kansas crosses from Kansas City southwest through Dodge City and then out of Kansas toward Santa Fe. Its route crosses over many landscapes, including the Flint Hills and the Kansas Prairie. A landscape means an area of land as one can see it. This includes landforms and areas where human activity has taken place. The Santa Fe Trail came about through freight wagons hauling commercial goods between Kansas City and Santa Fe. The wagons were the semi-trucks of their day, but with no highways, they crossed the prairie. In doing so, they wore deep ruts, also called swales, into the ground. Even today, 200 years later, traces of the Santa Fe Trail can still be found if you know where to look. You can even visit trail rut sites in Kansas, including some at the Fort Larned National Historic Site in Pawnee County. It can be difficult to see trail ruts on the surface, but there are special technologies that we use to see trail ruts. For example, this image shows LIDAR, which scans the surface of the earth and shows detailed topography or elevation of the land. We can learn a lot about the Santa Fe Trail by studying the ways people moved across Kansas's landscape. Choices were made about what way the route would take them, how easy it would be to travel, and of course, access to resources or communities along the trail. The route taken by the Santa Fe Trail through Kansas is even followed by some of today's highways.